I promise you guys, if you watch this video, it's very likely you're going to learn something and be able to get more wins in FIFA 23. If you're tired of coming up against teams like this, you can get some foot coins through MMO EXP using the link down below. You can also use code JAMBU for 5% off. So guys, I've uploaded a video like this before and you seem to really enjoy it. So if you want more like this, leave a like. Basically, we're going to do a live commentary. I'm going to show you what's going on in this current weekend league. So I'm on my my eighth, actually, foot champions of this weekend. So we're on an absolute grind right now. I'm 12-0 and on this current account. So like I say, if you enjoy this style of video, leave a like. Let me know if you have any questions. I want to help as many of you guys out as possible. And subscribe and I will help you become better at FIFA. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are currently 12-0 on this account. I'm going to show you the team uh, that I am using. As you can see, you know, a nice team. Um, a few players in there that are slightly questionable, but I'm just going to play a live game, take you through my thought process. A lot of people uh, seem to be interested in, you know, what I'm thinking whilst I play and all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, you guys seem to like it, so I'm happy to do this style of video. I quite enjoy making it. Uh, these are the tactics that I am using currently. It's a 3 4 2 one I'm, I mix it up all the time. Like, people ask me... Why I release so many tactics. I just try new stuff. And if I think the tactic's good, I show you guys. So hopefully you're fine with that. Uh, that is how I'm lining it up currently. It defends in a five at the back. Attacks with a lot of players. But for now, you know, let's just get into a game. Like I say, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and this will be for 13 and 0. We're loading in. Let's have a little look at what we are up against. Check. Uh, good back line. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. We're up against the new Haaland and Son. But that Haaland in particular is going to be a problem. So let's see what we can do. Switch straight into my uh, 3 4 2 1. And, you know, for kickoffs, I'll just try and make sure that I'm not giving anything up too easily. Um, you can see that I'm covering the options using a bit of the second man press. I like to use offside traps when the ball's in my opponent's half. Track the run. Uh, good stuff there. And from now, a little step over boost on the wing. I'll play a lock to make him think I'm going to go there, which opens up the space I'm running into. Then we've got the cut back. Try and go to the byline. Delay it. Driven pass. He's defended it well, to be fair. Um, we could be in for a tough one here. I literally knew that was coming, but for some reason my player didn't lock on. Um, we're going again though. I like to get him into these danger areas where I can set up the driven passes. We can recycle it here for literally as long as we want and just wait for something to open up basically. So that's what I'm doing here. Oh, I messed that up. We have won the ball back though. Little uh, step over boost out wide. We're going to look for the uh, cut back again. Baited him with a player lock. Cut back inside. Driven pass. Unfortunate. And he's paused it, and he's left. He doesn't want the smoke, but we're going to go into another game because I'm not going to upload a video that's like three minutes for you guys. Let's see if we can get this 13-0. Right, okay, so let's see what this guy's offering up, whether he's got uh, any interesting players. Red De Gea, oh, it's a nice team. It's a nice team. I mean, Gold Vinny, a little bit questionable. But let's see how we go. So, same again. You know, he's got the kickoff. I'm just going to try and make sure. That we don't uh, give anything up too easily. The last... It Let's cut to the next game. Oh my... You've got to be joking, man. Please. Oh my word. Guys, I just want to give you this video, man. What is going on? Right, nobody seems to want the smoke. But hopefully this guy does. So... Um, we win the ball back from kickoff, and from here, I just try and let my team get into shape a little bit. Obviously, you change formation at the start of the game, and it can get a little bit weird. So, uh, same thing is going to apply. We're going to keep the ball in the danger zone here. Um, we get these overlapping options, of course, in the formation we're playing. Look for the cutback. Beautiful. So, that is 1-0. And then, from this point, it's just about controlling the game, uh, waiting for your opponent to sort of pull players out. You can uh, take advantage of that. This guy's just running at us from the kickoff. But I keep possession. Uh, because I'm using like these three and five back formations, which are the meta right now, it's super easy to keep the ball in. Because as you can see here, you've just got all day, you know, these switching options. And um, I like the midfield, you know, sort of support passes you can get off as well. Uh, we're going to bait the down the line run. 
player lock again. He's going to think that I'm trying to pass inside. We're able to recycle the ball and go again. Nice and slow. Wait for him to drag his players out, and then we can find these little passes into the gaps. You don't need to rush at all. You can just wait for the opportunity. A uh, little sprint boost. He's, he's defended that very well, to be fair to him. And now we just have to make sure we don't get countered, intercept the pass. And then it's, it's a continuous cycle, you know. It's uh, not always the most fun to watch, but, you know, you're controlling the game. You're doing what you need to do. Um, you can see here, absolute same principle. Fly, we're recycling the ball, keeping it under control. And eventually your opponent just does pull his players out. People in the weekend league especially, they get over aggressive with it. And it creates options for you. So you can see here, we have split him open. And if that is anyone other than Philip Lom, that is a goal. Uh, but we do have to be careful here, actually. We've cut it out well. And then we will spread the play out and go again. So, a uh, little uh, boost. I've gone for a German cross here. Messed it up. Messed it up. Uh, again, you know, offside trap here to make sure my team actually push up the pitch. And we do manage to recover. You can see this defends in like a flat back five, even though it's a three at the back. It's very, very, very overpowered. But the main thing is I'm I'm working the ball down the line. And that is the main way of getting at people because I can bait the player locks. You know, I can send players on runs and it just gives your opponent a very long day. Like I love being in these areas because I can either go down the line or try and cut the ball back and there's nothing they can do about it. Um, little step overs as you can see we've managed to cut the ball back into the middle and then we do get the lead I'm going to try and show you a little bit more because I don't think we've actually had too much gameplay here we've just had people leaving and it's just got a little bit all over the place so uh, let's do one more quick one all right so this guy's got a really nice team uh, it could be potentially harder than the last game so let's see how we go with this Okay, so our opponent's gifted it to us in quite a nice area. These through balls over the top are extremely useful. Um, try and buy myself a bit of time here. Little Elastico, he's defended it super good, to be fair to him. When you're getting counter-attack like this, it's just about manually tracking uh, the spaces in behind. You can see here, I'm just keeping on you, Sabio. Right stick switching, and hopefully we should be able to shuffle this out. We do, we do get there. And now it is our opportunity against counter-attack. So a little step over boost. Should be able to get away from this guy here. Yes, we do. Uh, cut the ball back into a dangerous area. Driven pass. Little step over. Boom, 1-0. Beautiful. So as you can see, it's a very uh it's a repetitive cycle of play, but you can be creative with it, you know. Um it is satisfying. Like, you're sort of cutting your opponent open by playing actual football. Um, as you can see, we go down the line. Little player lock, and I'm going to use it this time. Sprint boost. Pass across. And that is 2-0. And that is him out of there. So you guys can see the principle. If you have any questions about my style of play, please do let me know. If there's anything I can help you with, I would love to. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again. You loved the last one. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.